Hey, I'm Nat. This is Newsbreak. Scientists from across the globe have launched a deep sea mission to try to discover more than 100,000 new species in what's set to be the largest ocean census in history. Here's Kale. The ocean is home to some of the world's strangest creatures. Well, at least we think it is. The truth is we don't know heaps about what actually lives here. In fact, we've only observed and explored about 10% of the world's oceans. And scientists reckon there are probably millions of species down there still to be discovered. That's where these guys come in. Well, we are in a race against time. Um, we have global warming, the ocean's losing oxygen, it's acidifying, and as a result, we're losing species. A group of scientists from the UK and Japan have teamed up to undertake a mission called Ocean Census. The plan is to launch dozens of ocean expeditions to discover and describe more than 100,000 new marine species before they disappear. Without understanding what animals live where and what they do, we cannot hope to understand how our oceans are going to respond in the future or how we can best protect them. They say massive advances in technology means it's now easier to explore the unknown and do DNA analyses on new creatures. We need people to fall in love with the majesty and the wonder of ocean life if we're going to have any chance of protecting it. Katy Perry has won a court case against Katy Perry. Confused? Well, this Sydney fashion designer's birth name is Katy Perry, and she holds a trademark to sell clothes under her brand name called Katy Perry. But when US pop superstar Katy Perry was in Australia on her Prismatic tour, she was selling and promoting merch under the name as well, which the court says infringed on Aussie Katy Perry's trademark. Absolutely over the moon, I was like fist pumping, <laughs> like jumping up and down the room. A rat at San Diego Zoo is showing off a special talent which can uh, help fight crime. Here's Liber to explain. This is Runa. She might look like your average run-of-the-mill African giant pouch rat, but she's got a very impressive super skill. Sniffing. Basically, as long as something has a unique scent odour, our rats can detect it. She was part of a unique training squad of so-called hero rats that are best known for being able to sniff out landmines on old battlefields. But Runa got a bit distracted in the field, so they're showing off her skills here at San Diego Zoo instead. The idea is that these hero rats will eventually be trained up for all sorts of missions, from finding people trapped in collapsed buildings to detecting diseases in laboratory samples, and even alerting officials to people trying to smuggle illegal goods. We get a lot of illegally trafficked plants, reptiles, mammals, birds. Trainers say Runa's size is also a big advantage compared to her canine counterparts that often do this kind of work. They can get into smaller spaces too, so they might even be able to just sniff a vent and tell if anything in like a cargo bin is um, something illegal. So it looks like there's a bright future ahead for Runa and her crime-fighting buddies. <laughs> oh, that looks quite good there. You know, I think that's the first time I've put you on display. <laughs> just like these next stories. These dogs are gearing up for the 147th Westminster Dog Show. The show is next week, but training is well underway here in New York City. Check out this agility course, which has been set up for dogs and their owners to practice. That dog is a little rocket. Now to the royal family. And uh, this isn't a photograph, uh, nor are they standing really still. They're not real at all. They're all incredibly detailed wax figures. And this one of Queen Consort Camilla is the latest to go on display here at Madame Tussauds in London. We've had a sitting with Camilla, um, so we've got lots of re reference, lots of detail. And finally, to a very tiny, very cute little animal. Victoria the polar bear was born here at the Hagenbeck Tierpark Zoo in Germany. It was actually born in December, but this is the first time it's been seen by the public. Well, that's all from us this week. I hope you have a great weekend and we'll see you on Monday.